Hey guys, it's Jessie V. So this video is crazy. I did not expect this to happen and I have the weirdest but kind of funny update for you guys on the haunted dolls that were on my porch. Were, okay? But as promised before I get into this story, I'm going to be announcing the winner of the Forest Galaxy Backdrop. And that person is Brooklyn. I will put her YouTube username right here. She is amazing. Congrats girl on winning that backdrop. And for anyone else who put in their submissions, thank you to you guys as well. As I always say, the winner is just randomly selected. So I don't want you to feel sad or down because I'm literally doing another backdrop giveaway every single month, okay? If you guys want to win this backdrop and remember that other green one that I had as well? <laughs> so the giveaway is actually going to be this one and this one together, which I don't think I've done before. So one person will be winning two of these backdrops because I sort of split the month with them. Usually I do a whole month of one backdrop, but I quit this one after I think 20 days or something. So both of these the winner will get. So as usual, I'm doing that scavenger hunt, treasure hunt style. So there will be four words that you guys Guys will be having to put together so if you want to find those words they're going to be at the bottom of the description of all of my haunted hotel videos the ones that I just posted not the ones from before the second series there are four haunted hotel videos so there's going to be a word in every single one of those descriptions put them together come back to this video and comment it down below and then you will be entered and then I will be announcing the winner at the end of this month so yeah get scavengering is that a word scavengering I don't know you can either wait for this video to to finish to go scavenger hunting or just like pause it and then open a new tab and like go do it like totally up to you totally up to you also one more thing I know I'm known for long intros I'm so so sorry but just so you know YouTube does not like to give out notifications for all my videos go out so guys if you want to be here first when I post a video definitely hit that notification bell down below also if you want to be entered into the backdrop giveaway you have to be subscribed to this channel and you have to have that bell on so if you want to do it you could do it. You could do it. You could do it. I don't know why I'm so hyper today. What is wrong with me? Okay, so I did part of this whole update on my Twitter because I post there all the time. I tell you guys that and you guys were so surprised because what I tweeted was that the haunted dolls had been stolen from my porch. I know. So this is how it all went down. I posted the whole history of the haunted dolls on this channel. If you haven't seen that yet, definitely check it out because it's such a long story and I'm not going to go into it again. But basically, I didn't want to bring these haunted dolls into my house because I have enough paranormal activity happening here and I just don't want any more negative energy being brought into my home. So I kept the box out on my porch and then I decided to bring the dolls to the haunted hotel. Now, while I was at this haunted hotel, I was honestly debating on just leaving the dolls there. I was like, I don't want to bring them back, like it's such a hassle and I don't want their negative energy following me. What if I just leave them at the haunted hotel? But then I started thinking like, no Jess, because then what if I bring more bad energy to the hotel and like, I don't want to put anything bad on anyone and it would just be bad on my part to just leave technically my belongings at a hotel. Just just would not be very nice, I don't think. So I decided to bring them back to my house and of course I put them back on my porch until I could bring them back from where they came from. I was actually planning on bringing them back to the place this weekend, but then they got stolen. So they were on my porch for a whole week. They were totally fine. I kind of kept them hidden behind a pillar on my porch just so like they wouldn't fly away or no one would take them or anything. So they were like safely secured, like on my porch. They seemed fine. They were good for a week. And then the other day I decided to go out and check the mail. And I was so used to the dolls being on my porch that when I went out through my front door, I didn't even look to see if they were there or not. So I walked to my mailbox, got my stuff, and as I was walking back to unlock my door again, that's when I looked around and I was like, they're not here anymore. I was so confused. I like looked in my garden, I looked around my house and on my driveway and like they weren't anywhere. So I unlocked the door and I walked inside and I was like, Ty, did you notice that the haunted dolls, like they, they aren't here anymore? And he was like, yeah, that's super strange. I saw that when I got home from work, I don't know where they went. So I was like, okay, do you mind asking your brother if maybe he brought them inside or took them somewhere? Because I don't know if you guys know this, but Ty's brother rents out the basement of my house because 
I don't know if that's even relevant, but anyway. <laughs> so Ty walked down to Bear and he was like, did you bring them inside? Like, did you put them somewhere? And Bear said no. So we're all standing there like, where the heck did these dolls go? So then I thought back to how my poppy, my mom's dad, had come over to do the garden in front of my house because he loves gardening, he loves planting flowers, he literally loves doing all that kind of stuff. So he like begged me to do my front garden. So he had come over a few days ago and I don't really know if maybe he saw saw the box sitting on my porch and decided to bring it into my house or bring it into my garage. I don't know. So then I called him and I was like, Poppy, when you were over gardening the other day, did you happen to see a box on my porch? Did you put it somewhere? And he was so confused. He was like, no. I didn't do anything with that box. So we're all just left here in confusion. And the only other thing we can think of is, okay, someone probably stole it. Cause I mean, maybe someone just saw that box sitting there for like a week and no one touching it. And they thought, you know what? If they don't want it, I'll come take it. And they just walked on my porch and took it away. And then when I looked at my security cameras, sure thing, some guy took the box in the middle of the night and uh, ran off with it. Now I did have to report that video because obviously anyone who steals from a house you have to report it so I can't show that video here because it has been reported but um what the heck so I was tweeting about it and I just kind of found it funny in a way as sketchy as that is I found it funny because this guy probably saw this box thinking that something really cool maybe really valuable would be inside and like grabbed it and ran for his life took it home <laughs> and just think about his face when he walked into his house put the box down opened the lid and literally saw a doll with half the head, no clothes on, another doll that we had literally broken, so just porcelain pieces all over inside of the box. His face must have been like, the heck did I just steal? Like he must have been so, so confused. Now I kind of just left that story with you guys on Twitter, but there is a bit of an ending to it, which is also kind of funny, but oh man. Honestly though guys, if that is not karma, I don't know what is. That just teaches you guys, do not steal because you never know what you're gonna be bringing home. As bad as that is, oh my gosh. I mean, what thief thinks they're literally gonna be taking haunted, cursed dolls home? So it was gone for about two days and we sort of just took that in and we were like okay they're gone and in a way it was a weight off my shoulders because one I didn't have scary haunted dolls two feet away from my house and two I didn't have to go and get rid of them you know like they just got taken off of my hands the guy who took them it's basically his now right it's his problem so I was thinking okay well they're gone so that's that like I don't know well today I went out to get my mail and guess what was sitting on my porch the haunted doll box. The guy <laughs> brought the box back. And I'm just like thinking all these things in my head, like what happened to him? Did he, I don't know, regret taking them? Or did he put them somewhere in his house planning to get rid of it? And all of a sudden, all this paranormal activity started happening to him. Maybe the doll started speaking to him. Like, I'm honestly wondering what happened in that span of two days that made him literally bring the box back because that really doesn't happen. When people steal from houses or steal from people, they don't bring the thing back. Like that's very, very rare. So this box must have been causing him so many problems that he was like, you know what? I'm bringing this back. I do not want this bad karma. I do not want this energy in my house. Like it must have freaked him out so much to bring it back to my porch. How crazy is that? So it's literally still out there and this weekend I'm gonna put the dolls back where they belong. I mean in a way, poor things. They're being dragged everywhere. One of them was literally broken, Mandy. <laughs> But they have gone through a lot, you know what I mean? But I'm also glad that I didn't bring them into my house because if this thief had crazy stuff happen to him maybe, then I don't know. Unless he maybe thought that it was a keepsake of mine from my childhood and he felt bad stealing it or something, or maybe thought it belonged to a child who potentially lived in my house. I don't really know if it was like just feeling guilty or if something bad happened in his house. But either way, it was weird. I thought it was a story that I should update you guys on, but I am bringing the dolls back. And the dolls, like I said before, they came from Wastewise. So it's this place with like tons of old items. And I still plan to go there to do like a ghost hunting video. I think Brittany, Jonathan, and Mandy do want to go with me. So we might do that in a month or so, but we will go there. And when we go back, I guess I'll meet the dolls again. <laughs> 
because that's where they're going back this weekend. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And honestly, guys, karma is real. Karma is so real. If you do something bad, look out because this guy did not expect <laughs> any of this to be happening to him. So always be careful. And don't steal. Stealing is so horrible. What do you get out of it? nothing don't steal but anyways yeah that is the end of my story don't forget guys if you want one of the new summer embrace your weird side burnout tank tops they are still available in white and purple if you'd like one the link is down below and also moot does have a new video he's been posting and he's gonna be posting another one I believe early next week so look out for that his channel is also linked down below but yeah I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video bye